Welcome back, Steve. Yeah, I know, I know. Nothing really happened yesterday. You just got to see a couple of the animatronics at Bounty's Tacos. But today, we're going to be going to that facility I was talking about. As you see, you're currently walking. I'm guessing you might have seen this forest before or heard about it. It's the Rosalindale Forest. One that not a lot of people go through, but it's pretty popular. It's just right around Bounty's Tacos. Isn't that nice? The facility is up ahead. You'll be there pretty soon. And what you're going to be doing at the facility, you're going to meet some animatronics. You've got to work on one of them. And that one is no other than White Mare. Anyway, the way there's a pretty long walk for you today. As we're walking, I guess I might as well tell you some stories. And some stuff I've had over the job myself. Eventually, there was this thing called emphasis on the word was this thing called the Big Seven. The Big Seven was a group of kids, and the group of kids were starting off with Chad, Zach, Stephanie, Chris, Josh, and then Fritz. And then there was this guy named Kobe. All of them, or at least I'd say six of them, went missing eventually. It all happened around the same date. Too lazy to tell you the day, but eventually I guess you'll find it out. But yeah, and then Kobe. Let's just say poor Kobe Vic Zix. I pronounced his name wrong. I can never get his name wrong. He was the victim of the 1978 at uh, our first restaurant, which was named Bounty's Pizza. And I really did like Bounty's Pizza. But because of the thing that happened to Kobe, it was so bad, the co-workers were told to not even talk about it, and the whole thing had to get shut down. Yeah, it was really stressful because the maker of this whole, uh, what's his name? Oh yeah, the maker of Bounty's Tacos and Bounty's Pizza, his name is Hernoitza. He is significant for sure, but did you want that? But, now it's not for sure, he has just nothing to do it. Anyway, Steve, we're almost there to the facility, that is. But while well, we're still going, I might as well tell you a couple jokes. What do you call a dog with no legs? A dog that can't move. <laughs> Wasn't that funny one, Steve? Oh, no. What do you call a cat with no legs? A cat with a disability? <laughs> that was a funny one, wasn't it? So, what do you call a hot dog with no bun? You call it a... Alright, Steve. Last one, last one, last one, last one, last one. What do you call a kid who's in the back room? A wall. What do you call it? What do you call it? You call him a... Uh, hey Mason, what? What even was that? What was that? I'm about to run! Keep running. I didn't get to see the animatronic's face, but somehow I broke out of the facility. This is the news. I think we've lost it successfully, Steve. Anyway, we're almost there. Just, I'd say, a couple more steps. By the way, Steve. Have you ever been to the facility before? <laughs> Why am I joking? You just got hired to the job. Speaking of the facility, I've been there before once. I didn't have a very enjoyable time, I guess I'd say. It wasn't the best. But I say it could have probably been worse. <laughs> Here we are. We're at the facility, Steve. Alright, now that we're in the facility, now we gotta go to room. 1B. Alright Steve, we've made it to the first animatronic. This is Boundary. As you see, he's had some better days. But I think he will be able to be repaired for the upcoming restaurant. Because these lawsuits, I don't know how long Boundary's Hawkins will go for, but not much longer. Let's just say that. So, let's fix up Boundary. First, let's take a look at Boundary's entire body. 
and make sure there's nothing wrong with him. Also, one last note, Steve. Don't worry about if he starts talking to you. These animatronics kind of just randomly talk, and when their voice box is messed up, they just say weird things. They don't usually say it most of the time. Check. Check. Now you must test out the voice box. I'm Gorgie. I'm the best of the best, of course. I love the best of the world. I have been the government. There's no shit about this. I do this. I'm a comedian. Are you a joke? I'm a serious one. What do you call a lonely child? Alright, let's go. Before we enter the room, allow me to introduce you to the black and white duo. The black and white duo, again, were one of the first animatronics. A very likable duo. There's Black Mirror and then there's White Mirror. Obviously, Black and the Black and White Duo stands for Black Mirror, and the White and White and Black and White Duo stands for White Mirror. I know it's kind of confusing, and the kids kind of got confused too. But trust me, a lot of kids like them. But anyway, let's go check up on them, you know? Let's go in. Alright, Steve. It's time you check out Black Mirror. Let's see if he's okay. I'm starving, I'm starving, I'm starving, I'm always starving, I'm always starving, I'm always starving, I'm starving, I'm starving. I'm starving, I'm always starving, I am starving. Now on your white mirror. Alright Steve, the other kind of chunks have already been taken care of. So we don't really have to worry about those two for now. You know Steve, the next time you leave the facility, and you're every way. Goodbye. The roads are the dustiest, the winds are the gustiest, the gates are the rustiest, the bars are the crustiest, the songs the lustiest, the friends the trustiest, way back home. 